that everything is perfect. It's not even that everything is okay. Well, I don't mean everything's bad either. It's just stable. It's static. Isn't it the same thing? Is it? A pendulum is stable, but it keeps on moving. Going back and forth every second of every minute of every hour of every day. How is that not static? Stable doesn't happen by itself. You have to put in the effort. You have to build a structure. A pile of small rocks is stable. Not because it was carefully constructed, but because all the rocks that were supposed to fall off just fell off. Even then, if you just pull one tiny rock out from the pile, you might bring the whole thing crashing down. We wouldn't want that. Nobody would want that. It's so soothing. The ticking of the clock, the humming of the fridge, the panting of the dog, the placement of the TV, the color of the walls temperature of the living room, alignment of the wood grains of the coffee table, softness of the blankets, hardness of the mattress. It's good for your back. It's good for your back. You know, sometimes in my dream, I wake up on our bed with a sense of dread. There's nothing to be afraid of, still the air is thick with fear. I get up and I start running. I'm sure someone or something is chasing me, but I'm too afraid to look back. I run as fast as I can, but it's like I'm trying to run under water. No matter how hard I try, I cannot run fast enough. I feel that thing that is chasing me getting closer and closer until it finally catches up with me. And I wake up in a cold sweat. Then I think to myself, silly me. If I didn't start running away in the first place, if I stood perfectly still, the fear would have just dissipated back into the air. After all, I didn't actually see or hear anything to be afraid of. Huh. Sometimes in my dream, I'm driving a red sports car on country roads, passing through all kinds of places I have never been to or seen before in my life. Later I sense that something's not right with the car. When I hit the brakes, they don't always work immediately. Sometimes they do not work at all. I start to realize the same is true for the steering wheel and the gas. I frantically try to take control of the car and fail. Just as I am about to wake up screaming, it finally hits me. I haven't been driving the car at all. It was driving me around by itself. I wake up in a cold sweat and think to myself, silly me. If I didn't desperately try to take control of the car and just let it drive me around, this wouldn't have been a nightmare, but a pleasant dream. Huh. Would you like some more coffee? That would be nice.